Welcome to part 5 in our series, Searching the Literature in Health. So far, we've used keyword combinations to search for published literature. You may well achieve good results using your own keywords or search terms. However, authors writing on the same topic may use a wide range of terms and you could miss some important articles. To help solve this problem, databases like Sonal and Medline create their own list of standardised terms or thesauri. These headings are a powerful tool to use. Medding, medline headings are known as MeSH terms. Sinal or MeSH terms are then added to each article in the database, as in this Medline example. The reference entry contains a list of major headings and minor subjects, all of which are MeSH headings. Now let's open Medline from our LibGuide, any of the LibGuides would do, or the A to Z databases list. Click Medline and sign in as needed. Let's say we want to find all relevant research on manual therapies for headache disorders. We could conduct a keyword search by typing manual therapy in the search box. Click on search. This retrieves around 2,700 articles, but our search wouldn't return articles for other relevant terms like manipulations, or physical therapy, or myofascial release, or massage. To look for the appropriate MeSH term, we can click on MeSH in the top header, or tick suggest subject ter terms, and then click on search. The next screen directs us to the term musculoskeletal manipulation rather than manual therapy. We click on that. This takes us to the hierarchy tree mapping page for musculoskeletal manipulations. It falls under the broader term to the left of complementary therapies and even broader therapeutics and down to the right lists narrower subject terms such as manipulation and soft tissue therapy if I hit the plus here, it will explode out to include another, even more narrow terms. Click the speech bubble box on the right to view the scope note. This gives us a definition so we know precisely how it's being applied. Click to the left of the term to add it to our search. We can also choose to explode the search. If we choose this, it will simultaneously search for any subject heading to the right of musculoskeletal manipulations and all narrow, or that is all narrower terms. If we choose major concept, it will only retrieve articles where musculoskeletal manipulations has been categorized as one of the most important concepts in the article. This will reduce results. For an initial search where you want to see broadly what the literature is out there, it may not be advisable. We can also choose to partic search particular subheadings that apply to our MeSH terms. Selecting some of them will s return less results in our search and could increase relevancy. We don't generally recommend to use them unless your search retrieves an unmanageable number of results. For now we're going to include them all. Rather than explode here, I'm going to select the particular headings that I think are relevant. So I'm going to go to manipulation, this one, as well as massage. These are all added to our search box here and we can click on search. This retrieves around over eight and a half thousand items a much larger set than our simple manual therapy search. The MH in our search refers to exact subject heading. And now I'm going to clear that search and go on to the second concepts, which is headache. So I'll click on headache. Again, we're going to click suggest subject terms to find that mesh term. We have a list of, of ones here that I could choose. I'm going to go for um, headache disorders 
and I'm going to explode it to include all types of headache disorders and also I'm going to select some subheadings prevention and control therapy rehab and that that is then added to our search at the same time I can add migraine disorders if I think it's relevant I'll explode migraine disorders as well and again I can choose those headings prevention and control of migraine rehab and therapy and it also has been added to our search I'll click on search again we have this MH for exact heading also we have plus to indicate that it's been exploded and the after the forward slash we have abbreviations for the terms that we used these techniques can also be used in SINAL, Psych Info and Sport Discus, which may have their own unique thesauri. We can now add these terms that we have found to our search table and note down other keywords which are not headings. In the next visit video we'll learn how to combine subject heading search and keyword searches to make a systematic search strategy. This is the end of our presentation.